Acts chapter 2, verse 21. And it shall come to pass that whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Ye men of Israel, hear these words. Yahweh Shai of Nazareth, a man approved of the Most High among you by miracles, wonders, and signs, which the Heavenly Father did by him in the midst of you, as ye yourselves also know. Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shai, 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 Bahashem, Rechakwadash, Yahweh being who the world ignorantly calls God, Yahweh meaning he is or he is to be, he exists, Bahashem meaning in the name, Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, meaning he is the deliverer, Bahashem Rechakwadash in the name of the Holy Spirit, giving double honors to the men of great millstone who rule well and peace and mercy to the hopeful elect the house of david habayat shal dawada this video is going to be entitled neither is there salvation in any other so the heavenly father in these last days has manifested his name to a, a remnant of, of of men also a uh, remnant of women but ultimately the heavenly father is dealing with men pertaining to uh, ezekiel right proverbs There's many accounts that says that his his flock is of men right so the heavenly father's name is very important so all you people out there that's calling on these different gods right these different names you got people in Israel calling on uh, Jesus, man, saying most high uh, Christ bless. You still got Jake in the world calling on Allah. Calling on uh, uh, all these other different gods. Not knowing that they're Israelites, not knowing the true name of their power. So will those names save you in these last days? Will Jesus save you when 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 martial law troops knock down your door? When you have no food in your stomach, when your kids are hungry? Will, 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 will Jesus save you? Will that name save you? It won't. Because the scriptures clearly say that there is no salvation in any other name. Let's get it. This is the book of Acts, chapter 4, and I'm going to start at verse 11. This is the stone which was set at naught of you builders. That stone is Yahawashai, which is become the head of the corner, right? Because you detest that name. When we on the highways and byways and we give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahawashai, that vibration is like no other, man. And you, you, you people, you look and, and hey, the disgust is in your face because that name is a curse unto you. When you hear Yahweh and Yahweh Shai, it, it, it's a, the scriptures say that the, the name of the Lord is dreadful among the heathen. And currently two thirds of our people are considered heathen. So when they hear that name, their skin crawl. When they hear that name, they, 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 they tremble because they know that vibration is righteous. They know that that's the true name of the Heavenly Father. And if they don't know, if they don't know that that's the true name, there's, there's this underlining, uh, uh, there's this underlining effect of when you hear that name, you know, okay, whoa. That's different. That, that's different. Because the Heavenly Father has just manifested his name within these last few years. Let me get that real quick. Real fast. Let's see. 
This is the book of John. You know where I'm going. Book of John. And I'm going to start. Uh, book of John chapter 17. Verses. I'm going to start at five. It says, And now, O Father, glorify thou me with thine own self. With the glory which I had with thee before the world was. This is Yahweh Shai's prayer. He's praying to the Father to glorify him. Verse 6, this is the point. I have manifested thy name unto the men which thou gavest out of the world. So Yahweh Shai manifested the Heavenly Father's name to select men. Right? The scriptures say that the elect shall praise his name. And the Heavenly Father's name is holy. It's, it's separate. So you can't say, oh, well, how you know the name of the Lord ain't Jehovah? How you know his name ain't Jesus? Because the world calls on those names. And you don't even hear people call on Jehovah, man. Who, when's the last time you say, oh, praise Jehovah? When you heard that before? Esau pushes Jesus, man. Why? Because that's... That image that he has set up, right? That image in the book of Revelation, the 11th chapter, it says uh, their dead bodies um, in the great city, which is spiritually Sodom and Egypt, also where our Lord was crucified. They put that image of Cesare Borgia as our Lord, and, and they have pushed that image for right, uh, white supremacy. So that's why they push that name that's why they push that image so that you can have a sub subconscious uh, effect to to submit to the so-called white man who is esau edom according to the bible right and read this again saint john 17 and 6 i have manifested thy name unto the men which thou gavest me out of the world thine they were and thou gavest them me and they have kept thy word. So there is a select few men, right, that have received the name of Yahweh, that received the name of Yahweh Shai and, and kept the words which was in the in, in these scriptures. And, and there's a lot of people out here that uh, used to call on that name, man. And now they're calling on uh, uh, Christ. They're calling on Most High, right? That's not going to save you. When, when all hell breaks loose, when shit hit the fan, when it's time to nut up or shut up, when it's time to, to, to profess your faith, will that name save you? Because we believe at, hey, at Great Millstone right, and, 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 and fellow men who believe in the doctrine that Great Millstone teaches, we truly believe that the name of the Lord is Yahweh and that his son's name is Yahweh Shai. And, and we believe, we know that those names have power. Those names bring uh, strength and ultimately is going to bring salvation. Let me read this again in book of Acts chapter 4. And uh, I'm going to start at verse 12. It says, neither is there salvation in any other, for there is none other name under heaven given among men where, whereby we must be saved. So there is no other name under heaven given among men to be saved by. And this was in the time of, of, of the Roman Empire. So how much more now? Because the word that the, the word Jesus goes back to the word Jesus, which is a Greek term, which is a Greek word. The Lord's name is in Greek. He was a Hebrew from the tribe of Judah. He was an Israelite. So how could he have, how could his name have been Greek? So if, if, if the Lord, if our Lord, Yahweh Shai, who you ignorantly call Jesus Christ, if his, if he's a Hebrew and he's from the tribe of Judah, right? And he says that, uh, he is the son of God. Would that not mean that the heavenly father himself also has a Hebrew name? 
it's, it's, it's like, but the thing is, you can't get upset. You can't get mad if someone doesn't understand this because it's not for everybody. The scriptures say many are called, but few are chosen. David even said that that uh, their ears are, are, are uh, shut up, man, that they cannot hear. Let their table be a snare. Why? Because ultimately the Heavenly Father has already destined them for destruction. To, to receive that second death. Right? Death by pain. But they're going to they're going to come back in the kingdom and they're going to understand 100 percent truth. They're going to know dang, the name was Yahweh. It was Yahweh shy. And they're going to come back to shame. But ultimately, all Israel shall be saved. Through the elect, first and foremost, right? Yahweh Shai is going to deliver the elect. They're going to go up into the chariots, come back down as New Jerusalem and, and, and retake this earth, man. And, and, and uh, rule in righteousness, right? We, we look forward to a new heaven and a new earth where dwelleth righteousness. So, in these last days, the, uh, the name that you call on is going to be very important. You can't have doubt. You can't feel like, oh, you know, oh, yeah, how, uh, you know, whispering. Hey, man, you got to know. You have to believe. And you have to, to confess him uh, uh, among men. Right? Let's get some more precepts. I'm talking too much. One of my favorite precepts right here. Book of Proverbs. Proverbs chapter 18, verse 10. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous runneth into it and is safe. So the Heavenly Father's name is a strong tower. A strong tower is a, is a defense. Somewhere you can abide in. Somewhere you can uh, seek refuge, right? Did not, did not David say that the Heavenly Father is his rock? And his, his, his habitation, right? We must dwell with, within the name of, of our power because that's the beginning, right? When Moses, when, when, uh, when the Heavenly Father met Moses uh, through the, in the burning bush, right? One of the first things Moses asked was, what's your name? What is your name? Because when you meet somebody on the street, you're not gonna just be like, hey, how's it going? You can start getting to know this person. You know, you know their favorite color. You know their favorite food, dessert, right? Their favorite pair of pants. You know all these different things about a person. And then you get their number or whatever. And you like, yo, damn, I don't even know this person's name. Like, how can you truly build a, a relationship with somebody without knowing their name? You can't. So uh, the name of the Lord is is the very beginning of 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 your faith. It's the very beginning of 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 what we believe in, because ultimately, uh, you can you can know all these scriptures, you can know all the breakdowns, you can know all these things about uh, uh, prophecy and the past, the history, all these different things that that that's contained in the scriptures, but. What's going to really bring you salvation, man, is you calling upon the name of the Lord. The scriptures even say it. Whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Not whosoever shall know every precept in the Bible shall be saved. That's not how this works. The Heavenly Father is going to deliver those that trust in him. Let me get this. It's a beautiful time for that. This is the book of Psalms. Psalms. Chapter 91, and this is a bad chapter. You can read this whole chapter, right? But I'm going to just get the point. This is uh, Psalms 91 in verse 14. Because he hath set his love upon me, therefore will I deliver him. I will set him on high because he hath known my name. Let me read that again. Psalms. Chapter 91, verse 14. Because he hath set his love upon me. How do you set your love upon the Heavenly Father? By doing his will. Feeding his flock. Going on the highways and byways. Keeping the law, statutes, commandments to the best of your ability. 
and ultimately believing in him, man. That's how you set your love upon the heavenly father. Because he hath set his love upon me, therefore will I deliver him. I will set him on high because he hath known my name. And that's a cut to all you phony Israelites. And I'm going to keep this PG as best as possible. All you phony ass Israelites talking about where we don't know the name or, or we, we, you know, they calling on most high in Christ. Verse 15, he shall call upon me and I will answer him. And that's powerful, man, because there was a time where Jake was was crying out. When when Esau had his full grip on uh, on Jacob's neck. During, during those brutal years of slavery, we was calling on, unto the Lord, man, but he didn't answer us. But now is the time to call upon the name of the Lord. Now is the time to, to, to seek his face, to cry unto him. Why? Because he's going to answer you. Even Yahweh Shai said it. He said, let me get it real quick and then I'm going to come back. Yahweh Shai said it himself. Uh, let's see if I can find this real quick. I think it's 14th chapter. Yep. This is the book of St. John chapter 14. And I'm going to get the point. Verse 13. And whatsoever ye shall ask in my name, that will I do, that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If ye shall ask anything in my name i will do it so there you go you gotta ask for me you gotta open your mouth there's a saying in the world a closed mouth don't get fed so now that we know our power is name abba yahweh we can call upon him through our our lord yahweh shai because he's our mediator he's the middleman He's going to get us the best deal because if we tried to go through, you know, straight to Yahweh, man, we will be destroyed. He wouldn't even hearken unto us. The scriptures say that the heavenly father hated all sinners and we are, we are, our righteousness is as filthy rags. So the little bit of work that you think you're doing right now ain't even enough. But that's why the heavenly father said that his mercy, it, it, it abided forever. He is long suffering. So he's going to he's going to allow us to rehearse the righteous acts. He's going to allow us to 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 repent from our wickedness, to repent from our evil doings. And 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 he's allowing us to call upon his name even though we're we, hey, we are filthy, man. Right? You you look at hey, you, brothers who got women, right? Your woman probably <laughs> this is just an example. It's not nothing serious, but Imagine if your woman ain't take a shower for two weeks, right? Filthy. You won't look at her like, what the hell are you doing? That's how the Heavenly Father sees us, right? We stank, man. We, not, we, we, are, we are not clean currently. That's why we must uh, uh, wait for his salvation so he can shed our body, right? Shed our, our soul from these chains of darkness, and we can receive new bodies. New bodies that, that will have their law, statutes, commandments written in our inward parts. And then we will be clean in his, we will be, we will be able to live in his presence, man. We will be able to live in the sight of Yahweh, man. Can you, can you imagine that, right? In the book of Isaiah, he even said that the heavenly father is, is going to answer us before we even finish speaking, man. That's how closely he's going to be paying attention to us. So back in Psalm chapter 91 and uh, verse 15, again, it says, he shall call upon me and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him with long life. Will I satisfy him and show him my salvation? So that's what we're looking forward to. That's what we pray for. That's what we hope for. That the Heavenly Father satisfy us with long life and to save us from Babylon the Great. Why? Because we called upon his name. Because we hearkened unto his word. 
But all you, all you two third niggas out there that don't want to get right, that don't want to repent, haven't even considered to, to change your ways. When the time comes, man, hey, he said it in the book of uh, Proverbs. I will laugh at your calamity. And I got another precept for you. You niggas out there. This is what the Heavenly Father is going to say to you in that day. This is the book of Judges, chapter 10. And I'm going to start at 10. I'm going to read through this kind of quick. Judges 10 and 10. And the children of Israel cried unto the Lord, saying, We have sinned against thee, both because we have forsaken our power and served ba uh, Balaam. And the Lord said unto the children of Israel, Did not I deliver you from the Egyptians and from the Amorites and from the children of Ammon and from the Philistines, the Zidonians also, and the Amalekites and the Moanites did oppress you, and ye cried to me, and I delivered you out of their hand. So the Heavenly Father delivered us from all these heathen nations. All these heathen nations that we were captive, uh, captive under, he delivered us, man, when we cried and called upon his name. Verse 13, yet ye have forsaken me and served other gods. Wherefore, I will deliver you no more. Go and cry unto the gods which ye have chosen. Let them deliver you in the time of your tribulation. So the Heavenly Father is going to tell you to cry unto the gods that you have chosen. When that day come. And, and, and you got fires in the street, cars flipped over, you got uh, uh, stores, broken glass, you got all these different things going on. People running with their heads cut off, literally. Women in the corner getting raped. You got babies crying because they ain't got no mom. When all hell starts to break loose in these streets, you're going to look around. You're going to be like, damn, maybe I should call on that name. You're going to call in the name. And you're not going to get delivered, man. Hey, the Heavenly Father might send an evil angel just to knock you off for thinking that you can call upon his name in that in that time. Let me get it. <laughs> uh, let's see. And this is going to be kind of lengthy. I got a few more precepts. I'm going to close it out. All right. This is uh, this is the book of Hosea. Hosea chapter five. In verse 15, I will go and return to my place to they acknowledge their offense and seek my face in their affliction. They shall seek me early. So when as soon as you start to receive affliction, that's when you're going to say, oh, that's when you're going to feel like you, sh you should be calling upon the name of the Lord. But it's going to be too late because when when the Heavenly Father gave you that time of grace, that time to, to seek his face. To, to learn these precepts and to build faith in him you didn't you didn't you didn't take it uh, you took it for granted you took it for granted right those that have uh, loathed my law while they yet had liberty you received all these different gifts in the world niggas got a charger right niggas got a 2020 hummer whatever you got you a nice apartment Probably got a nice uh, couple chicks on your arm. You got all these different things in the world. So you good. Yeah, how was I even said it, man? You have received your constellation. So when you start to receive that affliction, right? When when when, when your women leave you, when well, you ain't got no gas in that Hummer, right? You ain't got no food in your cabinet. Your little, uh, your little Ray Ray and little John, right? Talking about they hungry. That's when, that's when you're going to seek the Lord. But it's too late. It's too late, man. All right. Um, let's get this. I got a few more. Hey, Lord willing, you know, if the spirit jump on me, man, I'll grab some other precepts. This is um, this is the book of Acts. Back in Acts, chapter fifteen, and and verses. Uh, 15 uh, Yeah And to this Agree the words of the prophets As it is written 
After this, I will return and will build again the tabernacle of David, which is fallen down. And I will build again the ruins thereof, and I will set it up. So in the last days, the Heavenly Father said that he will rebuild the tabernacle of David. The tabernacle of David was was uh, was destroyed. And 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 it hasn't been built up since uh, 70 AD. So. Now that we're in this current time, the Heavenly Father is is uh, like his, this was this was quoted from the book of Amos. Uh, he will close up the breaches thereof. Right. The Heavenly Father is closing the breaches thereof. That means there is going to be no more uh, 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 two third niggas coming in to the point to where it's like, uh, you know, you just jeopardize the whole truth. It, it's not going to happen. You're going to have your 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 uh your agents. You're going to have your sellouts. But ultimately it's going to be unto your own destruction cuz the scriptures say that if this console be of the most high, you cannot overthrow it. Verses 17 that the residue of men might seek after the Lord and all the Gentiles unto whom my name is called, saith the Lord, who doth all these things. Right? So that residue of men is the elect. The uh, elect is going to uh, call upon the name, right? Uh, that's in the book of Sirach, the 17th chapter, verse 10. It says that the residue of men might seek after the Lord and all the Gentiles. The Gentiles is the Israelite foreigners. You uh, you so-called um, um, uh, other nations, right, who were scattered among the heathen. You might look like a Moabite or a so-called Chinese person. You might look like an Ammonite, so-called Japanese, or, or you might look like a, a so-called white man. But if your spirit resonates with this, if, if your spirit resonates with the name of Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, and you can receive this gospel, you're Israelite. Because uh, Yahweh Shai said it, my sheep hear my voice. It says, upon whom my name is called, said the Lord, who doth all these things, right? So, who 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 is called? Uh, whose name? Um, who is? It says upon whom my name is called. So, who has the name of the Father within their name, right? That's that's Judah. In the Hebrew is Yahweh. So the Heavenly Father is 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 coming back to the nation of Israel. In the Book of Joel it says, "I um, am in the midst of Israel." Ye shall know that I am in the midst of Israel. So the Heavenly Father was always with us. He just had us on punishment. When you when you whoop your kid, you ain't gonna be all buddy buddy with him after you just hit him with that belt. You're gonna be, you know, you're gonna give him that look, get your shit together, and then maybe a few days later, you know what I'm saying? Or hey, however you do it, I don't know. But the Heavenly Father whooped our ass. And he, he, he did not allow us to, to, to lift our neck from under the foot of Esau. But, but the Heavenly Father is slowly ripping that grip. He's slowly pulling back the power of Esau. And Esau sees it. He sees that he's losing power. He sees that Jacob is on the rise. That's why he's doing all these old six feet, uh, 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 we, we need to vaccine the entire world. Esau is fumbling, man. Right? He playing hot potato, hot potato with, 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 with what he's trying to, you know, pass. Currently. I'm starting. This is the last precept I got. This is another favorite precept. And then, hey, I'm going to close it out. This is in the book of Isaiah. Isaiah chapter uh, Isaiah chapter 52 I'm going to just get the point uh, Verse 6 It says therefore my people shall know my name Therefore they shall know in that day That I am he That, that doth speak Behold it is I So in the last days The heavenly father's people Will know his name And we already know that Everybody is not the Lord's people. So if everybody in this world can call on 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 uh, 
on hate uh, EA Seuss, right? Then how is that the Heavenly Father's uh, son's name? It's not. And I got to get that Malachi because I quoted it. And I was about to quote it again. This is Malachi chapter 1. Verse 14, but cursed be the deceiver, which hath in his flock a male, and voweth and sacrifices unto, unto, unto the Lord a corrupt thing. For I am a great king, saith Yahweh of hosts, and my name is dreadful among the heathen. So the name of the Lord is dreadful, ter terrifying. When you hear the name of the Lord and you're a heathen, you tremble. You get goosebumps. Your hair starts standing up. Why? Because you know you know your time is up. Right? All you heathen nations that were in confederate, uh, confederacy with, with uh, the so-called white man to keep us on the bottom. You damn Arabs. You damn uh, 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 Moabites. You, you all you different heathen, man. You about to get it for a thousand years. Call hello, you how about Shimei Shai. So like I said, hey, in, in these last days, will that name save you? Will, whatever name you call on, do you truly believe that there is salvation in the, in the, in the God that you believe in? Because here, hey, we, we know and we believe and, and, and we firmly protest and, and, and we stand bold for the name of the Lord, as it says in the book of uh, Second Ezra. So with that, I pray this was edifying, faith boosting. Call Halal Yimla Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai Bahashem, Rakakwadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who rule well. Peace and mercy to the hopeful elect. This is your brother Yashar. On to the, uh, to the next video, Lord willing. Shalom.